Hi guys, this is Rashid and welcome back. Today I would like to show you our new interface board which is going to make your mobile robot project a lot easier. So if you're ready, let's get started. This is a TC Moab ROS board. It's an interface board to let you control the ZL Tech ZL AC 8015D motor driver by ROS Topic. This motor has built-in encoder which could be used to compute robot wheels odometry. You can connect radio receiver S bus port to control the robot in manual by radio transmitter or switch to ROS control mode. So meaning even you don't have computer, at least you can move the robot by radio transmitter. There are PWM out port which you can drive PWM servo and also PWM in port to read PWM input from radio receiver or from a dual pilot. If you have switch and want to get state on off, you just plug two wires on switch port and it's up to four switches. If you have LED strip, NeoPixel, WS2812B, you can plug it and set LED state to light up as you want. There is built-in BNO055 IMU, which is the orientation fusion sensor. All of this, you can control, get and set data by ROS topic. The ESP32 here is running micro ROS inside, so you can plug the USB Type-C to your robot computer and running micro ROS agent. And that's it, you can control all of this by ROS topics. So I have prepared this test setup for a TC Moab ROS board. For motors, it's assembled with small size car like this. There is a radio receiver connected to S bus port and we can move the robot by this radio transmitter. There are two mini servos here connected to PWM out port and I have one push button connected to switch port. And here is LED strip NeoPixel and the whole system is powering by 6S repo battery. At first, try switching to manual mode, then we can move the motors by moving the stick of throttle and steering. Now I connect USB port from the board to my PC, and I just need to run my Coros agent with the specific port. If we do loss to topic list, we will see all CMOA ROS topic appear. Let's try to echo CMOAB card mode. 1 means in radio manual mode, 0 means in hold or stop mode, then all the sticks are disabled. 2 means ROS control mode, so if we publish CMOAB RPM command, for example as 30 and 50, you will see the motors are spinning with given RPM. Positive is forward spinning and negative is backward spinning. And during its spinning, if we echo on CMOAB RPM feedback, then you could see the feedback RPM of the wheels. And it's pretty close to what the commands we are sending. If you want to get raw encoder data, you can subscribe on CMOAB encoder, and that is 14 bits raw counting. We can also change the card mode by software, so just need to publish CMOAB card mode command as 0, 1, or 2 as you want, then the CMOAB card mode topic will reflect that value as well. There is CMOAB disable motor topic, which could be used to release motor power, so publish as true will disable motor holding torque, and publish as false will bring back holding torque again. We can read IMU data from CMOAB IMU topic. The data is a standard sensor message. In some scenario, we want to readjust the orientation yaw, so we can publish CMOAB IMU reset, and it will restart orientation yaw back to zero again. To control LED step color, I have made a simple number code with the mostly used color. So you can check on this table and publish number as the one you want to use. 1, 2, or 3 for solid of red, green, and blue. 11, 12, or 13 for steady blink of red, green, and blue. 21, 22, or 23 for heartbeat blinking of red, green, and blue. 31, 32, and 33 for moving LEDs for red, green, and blue. And finally, 100 is for rainbow colors. There is CMOAB error topics. It's publishing error of the motor driver, so the meaning of error can be checked on this table. 
if you want to read radio transmitter channel, for example, like a three-way switch or a stick value on radio transmitter, you can echo CMOAP SBUS RC channel. The value is in unit of SBUS value with the range from 144 to 1904 for switches and 1024 is middle value. Now I'm connecting radio receiver channel 1 and 2 to PDBM in port. Then we can read PDBM value from CMOAP PDBM in topic. So when stick is on middle, the PDBM value is around 1520 and the value range is from 1120 to 1920. To control on the PDM servo, we can publish to CMOAP servo command and the value is in microseconds and the range is similar to PDM in. To read the switch state, we just subscribe on CMOAP switch. So if the switch is pressed, it will show as 1. To place this board on the robot, I'm thinking to make something to cover it. So I design case cover on SOLIDWORKS. It will have bottom case which are holding the board with M3 screws and the upper lid to close the enclosure. There is an open hole on lid to access of the connector inside. Then I go to PCB way. At this time, I would like to try the CNC machining service. Then I upload the step file. Select quantity. For material, I'm going to use standard aluminum 6061 and select option to make threads. So I will need to give a technical drawing to make sure all of the holes are correctly made. Then upload another file and repeat the process again. Then press on submit request. The backend team will check on your order request to see if there's any problem or missing information. And if everything is good, then it will proceed to manufacturing. After a couple days, my part is alive. I would say the quality looks good as I expected. So if you want to make some part for prototyping, next time you could try on PCB way. Here how it looks like with the board inside. To present a function of this AT Simua Bros board, I will use this robot. The motor and driver are placed here. The control box inside is very simple. We have Raspberry Pi 5, AT Simua Bros board, and the CDC regulator and Wi-Fi router. The LED strip is placed on the frame here. There are emergency button to cut power out from motor driver. The battery is at the back and there is push button here. You can use it for anything actually, but let me show to you later what is it for. On front here, we have Levox Mid360 LiDAR. We're going to use it as laser scanner and also there is Oak DAI camera to do some human detection. I have made this package in order to help user get started quickly. So we can control the robot with command velocity topic similar to our package. And there is odometry data to use with localization and slam later. If you are interested, please go check on this GitHub repo. Also, it's the same step I'm going to show you from now. Back to our PC. These three terminals are the robot terminal, on first terminal here, I start micro ROS agent to connect with AT CMOAP ROS board. Then next I run ROS2 run CMOAP U ROS utils will ODOM converter with ROS argument as show log as false and view separation as 0 0.36. And the third terminal here, I run ROS2 launch CMOAP U ROS utils ODOM ekf.launch.py to start robot localization node. It will use EKF to fuse IMU data and odometry data, and we could get better odometry data. On my PC terminal, I run Arvis2 with odometry.arvisconfig. Here you will see red arrow is original CMOAP odom, and blue arrow which is fusion odometry. The blue one could represent much actual position. Next, I'm going to drive the robot by radio transmitter in manual mode, so please have a look on both arrows. You could see that after moving around, the red arrow is drifting away from start position and blue one is much more accurate. Next, we're going to use SLAM toolbox to create static map of my room. So similar as before, we start micro ROS agent to connect with the board. 
Next terminal, we run ROS2 launch, Revoc loss driver 2 to get point cloud data from Mid360. Next terminal, we run ROS2 launch, CMO app UROS utils, laserpub.launch.py. This will start point cloud to laser scan and also laser relays node. Next terminal, we run ROS2 launch, CMO app UROS util, CMO app all.launch.py with view separation as 0.36 and show log as false. This will combine well ODOM converter and ODOM EKF launch files together. On my PC terminal, we run RVIS2 with slam mapping RVIS config. You could see the laser scan and odometry data showing. Last terminal, we run ROS2 launch slam toolbox online async launch.py with this config file. This is going to generate the map, so we need to move the robot slowly. So I use radio transmitter to control the robot manually. Finally, if the map looks good, then we could use map saver to save this map. Next, I'm going to show you a simple autonomous driving with the localization AMCL from Navigation 2. Similar as before, we start micro ROS agent, Levoc loss driver 2, and see more app all.launch.py. On this terminal, we run ROS2 launch, CMO app UROS utils, localization launch humble.py with the map file that we created before and the config file. One last terminal here, we run ROS2 launch, CMO app UROS utils, simple nav.launch.py. This will start a simple navigation point to point by using PID control steering. This is not similar to nav to bring up that use cost map and do shortest path, but this node doesn't have such fancy object avoidance or anything, just a simple PID. So the target has to be carefully selected by user, which doesn't have something to block the way. On my PC terminal, we start RVIS2 with AMCL with path RVIS config. You could see the static map and laser scan with robot odometry in map frame. The green color LED means the robot is in RC manual control. Blue color means robot is in ROS control. It needs command velocity topic to move. Then we can use this 2D go pose to send go target point to the simple nav node. When the robot moving, the LED will change to moving LED LEDs to let user know that it's running. Next, I will show you this web console. So I have designed this web interface to let anyone easily control the robot. There is a static map and laser scan similar to Arvis, and also LiDAR view, and there is joystick which you can move the robot manually similar to radio transmitter. On the video streaming, this is from Oak AI camera. It will detect human and draw a bounding box on it. So it could be useful in some case like patrolling robot. On right side panel, there are buttons we can use to make waypoint, second point, and clear points. First, we can click on make waypoint button. Then we can select target point on map. So you can just continue click next target point to go. Once you finish, just click finish editing. Then you can click on save waypoint to save this on the robot. If you refresh page, we can click on load waypoint to load previous waypoint back to screen. And if we click on start waypoint auto, the robot will start moving. Once the robot arrive on point, the LED will blinking as blue. So I made the function to receive push button before I continue going. So now I need to go press the button on the robot. Then it will continue going and again repeat the same process. And finally, finish all the points, we can click on clear all to remove all the points on the screen. There is also single point navigation similar with Arvis. We can click on select point, then choose the point on the map where to go, then click on finish selecting, and click on start point auto to start moving. 
We can press on stop to make it stop and click on start point auto again to continue. We can also make the waypoint by click on a button. It will use robot location as target point. Then continue moving and keep pressing on a button until finish. Then click on start waypoint auto to start moving again. And that's for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. I think this project is very interesting and hope you guys could learn something from here. For the ATC Moab ROS board, you can check it out on attractlab-shop.com. There is a documentation that you can follow along and you can easily adapt this board to your project. For the utility package, you can check it out on this GitHub repository. And if you would like to see all of the code like the web console or have some support for your project, Please consider to be a YouTube membership on this channel with the Isakaya plan and I would love to share the code and have some chat with the technical stuff. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to press like and share buttons. This will make the YouTube algorithm to promote my videos to other people. So thank you for watching and see you soon.